Okay guys, we're going to be testing the test rides again. So let's start with the Cheetah Classic. This is the podium vehicle, so let's give this thing a test drive. Okay guys, so I do like the look of the car, but I don't like the way it performs. It doesn't really take corners all that well, and I wouldn't really recommend this car if you don't win it from the podium. So try and win it, but don't feel bad if you don't try and win, if you can't win it from the podium. And yeah, let's move on to the next one. Next we're going to do these test rides right here. We've got the Ennis Eros, the Dominator GTT, and the Uber Mansion Cypher. So let's start with the Ennis Eros. Okay, so this car performs pretty well. I like the way it takes corners, I like the way it looks. I already have this car, so I probably won't buy it again. Maybe I might, maybe I won't. I mean, I do have multiple cars of multiple cars, but anyway, the point is, I do like the way it looks, I do like the way it performs, but if you want to get any car, I'd suggest get this one. Um, but yeah, don't feel bad if you can't afford it. So if you can't afford it, don't worry about it. If you can, then I'd probably recommend this one. Next, we've got the Dominator GTC. So let's take this thing for a spin. Honestly, this is a car I might even consider buying because I'm not sure, but I'm not sure how it performs yet. So we might just have to test that out. Okay, so I wouldn't really recommend this car for its performance, but for its looks, I probably would recommend it. And for me, it's all about the looks, so I'm probably going to buy this car. So, would I recommend you guys buy it? Only if you guys really like the look of the car. If you guys don't like it, then maybe just avoid it. It doesn't take corners very well, so maybe I'd give this one a miss. But, yeah, if you, if you like the look of it, buy it. But don't feel bad if you can't afford it. Like I say in every single one of these cars, which I'll probably stop doing now, don't feel like you have the need to buy every car that I say, okay? You don't have to buy them all. Okay, I'm going to purchase this vehicle right here. And it's $900,000. Well, 115000 but that's okay. Alright, we're going to put it in here. And that's where it's going to go. Alright, so the next car we're going to test drive is this thing right here, the Uber Mansion Cypher. So, let's take this thing for a spin. I already have this car, I'm pretty sure I have this car already. So, I won't be buying this one. Let's test it out.
Okay, so I'll be very honest, I don't think this thing performs very well around corners, so I wouldn't really recommend it for that. But the only reason I bought this car myself is because I like the way it looks, okay? And when it's upgraded, it does look really nice, so if you want to buy it because of its looks, then it's just buy it. But if you don't want to buy it because of its looks, then maybe avoid it, because it doesn't take corners very well. So yeah, let's move on to Simeon's place. Right here, let's take these things out for a spin. Let's start with the ugliest car in the whole bunch. The new car, the Panther. I'm just going to call it the Panther, or the Pan 3, because it's easier to say. Let's test this thing out for a spin. As ugly as I think it is, I have to test drive it. So, as ugly as I think this car is, I have to say this with a heavy heart to say that I would recommend this car. The only reason is because it's only available for one week, and after that, you're probably going to be able to get it again. So, this car might already be gone for you, for the people that are watching in the future. So, yeah, I'd recommend it, but nothing I really like about this car is good. I mean, I do. I was. I will say this: it doesn't doesn't perform that bad, okay? But looks alone, I think, is incredibly ugly. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Can't even get to the thing. To don't buy this car, man. This car's just it's just awful. But if you guys want to know what the thing is called, it's called the thing Kakanjo Coupe. Anyway. I wouldn't recommend this thing, honestly, I just think the thing just looks incredibly ugly. It probably doesn't perform that bad, but I'm not going to test drive this. I think this, is, this thing is incredibly ugly with the roof thing. Let's move on to the next one. Pointing car over there. I'm honestly very disappointed with that car because I don't personally like it or like how it performs. So I'd probably avoid it. Let's move on to this thing here. Uh, the Pegasi Taurus. Let's take this thing out. So, yeah, let's take this thing for a spin. Okay, so could I recommend this car? Yes, I could recommend this car, but I wouldn't say it's a necessity. I don't think you really need the car, but if you really, 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 really like the look of it or want it, then I would recommend it. But uh, do I like the way it performs? Yes. The way it sounds? Yes. Yes, that's a big one. I like the way it sounds. 
I also kind of like the way it looks, but I'm not sure if it's a card that I probably will buy. I might consider buying it, but I don't know it yet. It looks really nice, though. It does look very nice for an SUV. So, yeah, I'd probably recommend this one. Alright, let's buy this thing. Okay, so now we have the Vapid Hustler. Let's take this thing for a spin, shall we? Okay, so hear me out. I don't like the way this car performs or the way it turns. But why would I still recommend this thing if both those things are not good in my opinion? Well, well, just look at it. It kind of looks ridiculous. It, 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 it just looks ridiculous. And I love the sound of the vehicle. I mean, come on. It sounds pretty cool, man. But... No, I mean, yes, I, I, I would have to say yes, I would recommend it, but it, it, it both has both qualities being bad. But if you guys don't want to get it, that's totally cool. If you guys don't want to get it because it doesn't perform well, maybe you don't like the look of it, then that's totally cool. If you want to avoid it, I'm all for it. But yeah, that I would recommend Importing Nightshade. Let's take this thing for a spin. Okay, so I'll be very honest, I wouldn't recommend this car. First of all, I don't mind the way it looks, okay? I don't mind it. But where it falls short on is the way it performs around corners, stuff like that. Everything feels like it takes a little bit longer with this car. So I can't say that I would recommend this car. Well, I could because I just did. But the point is I still wouldn't recommend this car. This car doesn't perform very well, but it doesn't look that bad in my opinion. So, let's go over all the vehicles that I would recommend, starting with the Alice Carmi, then we'll go to Simeon's place. Hey okay guys, so I'm going to quickly go over the cars that I would recommend here. I would probably avoid these two, because of the way they perform. They don't really perform very well around corners and stuff, but if you want to buy them, I'd suggest them because of their looks. Now, this car here is the only car I'd recommend for this week, out of all the... Uh, Alice Car Meet Test Rides. Uh, similar thing with the podium vehicle. Like, if you want to try and win the podium vehicle, I would say go for it, but don't feel like you need to try to win it because it doesn't really perform around corners very well. So, if you don't win it, don't feel bad. It's just that this car doesn't perform very well, but I'd assume this car would look pretty well when it's upgraded. So, yeah. Not the, most of these cars, except for the NS Eros. So let's go over these vehicles here. Anything that I'd recommend? There are a few. 
this one right here, this one right here, and unfortunately this one way over here. I unfortunately would recommend this one because it's only available for a week. Other than that, there would be no reason to buy it. Um, no, I wouldn't recommend buying that one or that one. But that one there is kind of like an optional thing. I would recommend it because I I think it I think it's weird and sometimes I think weird is good. So I guess yeah I could recommend that one, but definitely not the nightshade or this thing here. Anyway guys, that's gonna wrap up the video for the day. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe, um, share this video if you want, uh, comment down below if, and tell me if you're gonna buy any of these vehicles and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!